guys, this is Name Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Eritrade. We're looking at gold and we're going to start with our bigger time frame, which is a 4 hour time frame as always, and we're going to try to spot our major support and resistances within that uh, time frame, and then we're going to try to spot a place where we can join this trend. So by just looking at it, you know, we can clearly see that the price is in a support zone and uh, yeah, now it is bouncing back above from that support zone. Yes, we have broken that uh, upward trend line, uh, which is uh, something, you know, it, it is a matter of a concern. But as long as this support zone holds, uh, you know, the, the worries are not that big because uh, this support zone has an ability to push the prices back up towards this resistance zone of 1330 to 1340 but at the same time the important thing to notice at the minute is that we are trading below our 50 day moving average which is our, our uh, red uh, which is in red color and our 100 day, 100 day moving average uh, so uh, you know that that means that you know the, the bias is towards the downside and then the, the pressure is going to stay there so soon the price is going to rally back up it's going to find its first resistance between uh first of all is this trend line and then it's going to find its resistance uh near its 100 day moving average and then followed by that is 50 day moving average but a good thing which which is important uh, to emphasize right at this point is that we do have a crossover which is you know the, the 100 day moving average uh, the 50 day moving average is above the 100 day moving average and as long as it stays above that uh, the, the, the chances are that okay you know the, the trend is going to go towards the upside another interesting thing that I do want to point out is our RSI the RSI is in an oversold zone as you can clearly see now it is bouncing and as long as we you know the the, the RSI stays above this trend line uh, the, the bias is more towards the upside so let's get into a smaller time frame uh, perhaps a 30 minute time frame and then see if we do have any kind of a reversal pattern which could confirm our bigger time frame uh, in relation to its support and resistance and other technical uh, aspects of that so by looking at it we can clearly see that yes we do have an ascending triangle forming so by joining this low and this low and then uh, by just putting a straight horizontal line there so we do have a bullish pattern which has formed and then uh, that bullish pattern is actually broken because this was the top of that and now we are moving towards the upside uh, so this is the kind of a thing guys that we always wanted to see that we wanted to see a bullish pattern forming within a smaller time frame and on the bigger time frame we do want to see a price in a bigger uh, support zone so, so this kind of creates a perfect buying opportunity uh, if you say so, so and this is all for today guys so I'm gonna leave our analysis right here there's not nothing much uh, to emphasize but be careful that the bigger time frames and resistance are still there but you know for the time being we could definitely readjust that we can re we can bring this resistance on right at this point and then we can uh, uh, bring our bigger resistances slightly lower as well so basically what we have at the minute is level on top of level so what I mean by that is that we do have a this level of resistance and then we do have a this level of resistance so two resistance are on top of each other which is gonna you know it's gonna be slightly uh, difficult for a price to break through these all these resistances number one is the trend line then it has the moving averages then it has a lower level of resistance then upper level of a resistance and after that we have a plane sailing towards our bigger resistance of 1380 okay guys so I'll leave everything here and uh, good luck with trading and if you do have any questions please feel free to comment I'll come back to you on that